I think yeah, this is like a we have the ribeye, so this is the ribeye, yeah. right? I can't be from Alberta and not choose the bison to work with today. Tay is from the West Coast, so we see that scallops are available to us, and we're like, what if we do a surf and turf? Alberta meets BC. Perfect, right? Do you want to go with figs? Figs and red wine. Yeah, figs, okay. red wine, good. I've never had fresh figs before, really. I don't see them that often in Alberta. Well, we're gonna have them today. Yay! May is my best friend in the competition, so I'm actually really excited to work with her. I need to get this red wine reduced. Remember to make more than less. Yeah. Uh, maybe you should use a saucepan. Use a big saucepan. Bigger surface area to reduce, right? Yeah. She can be a little bit too demanding sometimes. Do you think that'll be like if we do just a little scattered one of these, look, May? No, we need like a substantial amount on the plate, right? We're not feeding ants. We've all seen this happen in kitchens where there is no leader, and then what happens is you have a power struggle. That could spell disaster. Can you check my potatoes, please? Yeah. They're pretty hard still. I need hey, to Hey, you want to turn them back on? That's why you're here. OK, girl, like, this is not how we talk to each other in a team challenge. When I was young, my mom would come home from work and find every dish in the kitchen used, and there's me sitting at the table eating whatever concoction I made that day. I really want to show my family the cook that I've become. I've never actually cooked with both my parents and my boyfriend. This is huge for me, huge. I want to be a food critic one day, but my mom is a hardcore food critic already. I want to make sure absolutely everything is perfect. My dad is going to love this demi-glaze. Hi there, May. Hi, Chef Michael. So what is it you're working on? I'm working on a truffled uh, potato puree right now. I'm going to mix in this really finely chopped truffle and then put it through a sieve. Good. So what else is going with those potatoes? Bison ribeye. And then we're going to do a little play on surf and turf, and we're going to have a nice seared scallop on the plate as well. So who's going to be cooking those scallops and taking that big responsibility? Is that you? Yes. How are you going to time that sea scallop? I personally do 90 seconds per side. I like to do, like, three minutes on one side and then one minute on the other side. So we're just going to see what works the best and then go from there. Interesting. I'll let you carry on. Thanks, guys. Mine has a sear on this it. This one has a sear. One of the biggest challenges with the blue team, though, is they pick scallops and bison. Those two proteins cook at very different times. Hey, this dish is not going to be simple to execute. Timing is going to be crucial. I need to get the steak seared. I need to sear the scallops, roast the cauliflower, and that's a lot to do. So I'm hoping I can finish my demi-glades in 20 minutes. I'm just going to add some herbs to it. How about we throw garlic in there? I don't think you should put raw garlic in there right now. I know what I want to put in it, but May disagrees with me. I think I can use some more raw wine to tell, like, to be honest with you, some more red wine. I'll do it. I just, honestly, I think it needs some more, like, herbs and something, like, a little bit more flavorful than it just... I need to help her. I need to push her in the right direction. Yeah, just add a little bit of that. This? Yeah. I don't know. It's so hard to trust your gut when you have to talk to somebody else about it. Over in the Red Kitchen, Barry has no doubts about his wine sauce. I think I know more about wine than the average person. I truly believe I'm the right guy to be doing a red wine sauce. Now we're cooking. The wine sauce ties our entire dish together. Barry is nailing it. I wouldn't change a thing right now. The worst thing that could happen is uh, old man Barry has a stroke or something, and uh, I got to do the meat Thanks, and the veggies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just testing one of the scallops first. Tay, I need you to drop more scallops because we need to start plating soon. You can't be practicing. Like, we need to have them cooked, like, now. We need to hustle. Do you think this here is a little too light on this one? Yeah, it's too light. Your pan's not hot enough. It's eight. It's at eight. It's the highest it is. I'm doing everything I possibly can to get these scallops cooked. We need to be plating, like, right now. OK. There's so much at stake. If it doesn't meet our standards, it's not going on that plate. I don't know what to do. Let's I just leave it. Leave it off their plate. If we're not happy with it, leave it off the plate. I have them on high heat, and they're just not cooking. They're so raw in the middle. They're raw. Leave them. I just spent a bunch of time on a scallops, and the scallops are going in the garbage. I could have been using my time for something else. I'm still working on this bloody sauce. And I'm thinking, the sauce is not going to win. I'm going to win. 
balsamic. Are you sure? A little bit, just a hint. What is that? We'll add a quarter teaspoon at a time. I think we can cut the bitter aftertaste with acid. Just constantly, just keep tasting, keep tasting. The sauce situation is stressing me out. One more quarter. If we don't nail this sauce, we're not gonna win this challenge. Now let's see where we're at. Beautiful. It's gold. Absolute relief. I like it. I do too. I like it a lot. Five minutes, you have five minutes left. Yeah, that went by fast. We want to see beautiful plates, 12 of them. There's a lot of moving parts to the blue team and the red team's dish. And there's only two cooks on each team. It's going to be challenging. We're moving, we're moving. Our steaks are cooked nicely. All of our flavors taste really good. Our sauce worked out. I'm so glad we're not putting the scallop on the dish. No surf and turf for us. It is just turf. It's just gonna be turf now, but it's still gonna be delicious. Our dish is coming together exactly how we planned. Almost make like a half moon with the mushroom and the two potatoes, right? And then I'll follow in behind with the carrots. I'm really hoping that the families enjoy the meals that we put out for them. We really cooked with our hearts and our flavors are there. The fact that my family's tasting my food, it's crazy. I'm more nervous of our family trying the food than the judges. I have no regrets. This is the most pride that I've felt since I've been here. Barry, servers are coming. I've been together with my wife for 11 years and this is the best meal I've ever made her. Take them away. MasterChef Canada families, I think you'll be impressed with how much you've been able to motivate your home cooks today. From the red team, we have a hunter-style dinner. Venison with red wine plum sauce, baby potatoes cooked in duck fat, chanterelle mushrooms, and rainbow carrots. Sounds delicious, huh? And from the blue team, we have grilled ribeye of bison, with fig demi-glaze served alongside a truffled potato puree and roasted cauliflower. Let's eat! The families have no idea which dish was cooked by their loved ones, and their feedback will help the judges decide the winning team. The one thing that pops out for me on the red team is the vegetables. They are done with so much care. Very elevated. The meat, on the other hand, has some challenges. There's two different thicknesses here. You have a thick piece, which is rare, and a thin piece, which is medium. That's not good. It's totally inconsistent. Look at the difference. Do you know, I don't want two layers of doneness on the same plate. I want them to be exactly the same. The sauce, rich, full of flavor, has the right balance, and goes incredibly well with the venison. Now let's move on to the blue team. There's no sea scallop on this plate. We were promised a surf and turf, and we just got turf. I have a feeling that they didn't put it on the plate because it wasn't good enough, and we have told them that from day one. If it's not great, do not put it on a plate. Beautiful potatoes, nice and smooth, it's not lumpy. It's got nice and... That's the money. Yeah. Velvety. The cauliflower is wonderful, it's nutty. It's perfectly roasted. Okay, and that's not easy. How is the cook on your bison? Mine is rare, yours is rare. Mine is well done. I do not like my bison cooked this way. I think all things considered, when it comes to the cook on both the venison and that bison, they're pretty even. So how do you feel about the food, families? It's amazing when, when both plates were put in front of us. Uh, the presentation was just magnificent. I thought they were both very well done. Usually the meat is the focus, but it seems that the vegetables almost stole a show. The mashed potato truffles on the blue place is wonderful. Overall, to me, the meat on the red team and that sauce was to die for. My personal taste, I really thought the bison was, was really strong on the blue team. Families, I think we can all agree that was one awesome meal. Yes. And here are the very talented cooks. Wow. You guys did it.